I work under the umbrella of the Northern White Rhino Initiative at San Diego Zoo. We're trying to figure out how to bring the northern white rhino back from the brink of extinction using stem cells. We're hoping to use induced pluripotent stem cells to create and isolate primordial germ cells, which we can then use to create gametes, so functional oocytes and sperm, so that we can have a 100% northern white rhino through genetic rescue, since we're down to two females alive on the planet. This is no small task for the Indiana State University alumni and their team members at the Institute for Conservation Research. The groundbreaking science requires much problem solving, something Dr. Marisa Karodi and Sarah Ford have been doing together long before either ended up at the safari park. The journey began in 2007. Indiana State professor Dr. Elena Tuttle took her sabbatical at the San Diego Zoo where she learned techniques to bring back to her lab in Terre Haute. Dr. Tuttle's enthusiasm for the research was, of course, contagious. She came back with pictures of her petting a rhino and pictures of this gorgeous lab space and everything. And I said, I want to work there one day. The lowest expression is FA2 and then DINK 503. I met Marisa in January of 2012. And Sarah was a freshman student worker that was going to work in the lab. She was a quiet little freshman and I trained her how to do all the lab work. She was very meticulous and then she continued on working in the lab after I left and then you know after she graduated went on to run the genome center there. So it was a nice little little start to and to get to know her. Four years later, Dr. Tuttle returned to the institute with Sarah to learn cell culture. And lo and behold Dr. Marisa Crody was still here working, and I got to reestablish a relationship with her. And when she began heading up the Northern White Rhino Initiative, I kept an eye on it. And when there was a job posting, I went for it because this is what I want to be doing. And this is the direction I think conservation genetics is going. And I'm just thrilled to be here on the ground floor doing something I'm passionate about. But I never would have gotten here had Dr. Tuttle not done her sabbatical here and then inspired her PhD student. The bond between the sycamores is almost cellular. I don't know if I want to say proud, but you know, it's like because I knew her work ethic and that I knew I could teach her and, and you know, how well, how smart she was and how well she, she worked on all of her other projects, I knew she'd be a good fit. Because I've spent years problem solving in the lab on my own with the support of great faculty and advisors, I was prepared to come here and problem solve for rhinos. If we're lucky, in about 20 years, we might have multiple live births of northern white rhinos and we'll be on our way to a sustainable herd that we could use to repopulate the species. This is absolutely my dream job. This is where I want to be. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. I want to be doing this kind of research and I want to be doing genetic rescue in endangered species for the rest of my life and wherever that takes me.